Hello, hello. Welcome to lesson four of Intro to Fingerstyle with me, Sammy, and Flight Ukulele. Okay, so last time we took our three different fingerstyle exercises and we applied them to a C, G, A minor, and an F chord. Now, today we're going to, first off, we're going to upgrade. I'm going to show you how I would upgrade those chords a little bit, okay, to make it extra, extra lovely. And then we're going to take the same chords, but I'm going to show you a new technique. Okay, so not like the other kids at all, completely different, but one that's just a bit more ambient. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about our chords. Now, we had C, G, A minor, and F. Now, I'm going to upgrade <laughs> three of the chords. What I'd like us to do, instead of playing our C chord on the third fret, we're going to play our C chord on the seventh fret. Then we're going to race down and play a G chord. Big old jump, but just practice that jump there. Okay, so C chord and seventh, G chord. Now for our A minor, there's two ways of playing this, okay? So if you play an A minor with your middle finger, you can add your pinky to the third fret of the first ring, where a C lives, basically. And that is still an A minor chord, we just have a high C at the top. So sort of similar to how that C is still a C chord. This is still an A minor chord, but it has a different sound to him, and I like it a lot. Now, you can play it like that, that is absolutely fine. Or if that feels really awkward, if you're not used to using your little finger at all, then I'd ad advise using your index finger for the fourth string second fret and then using your ring finger for the C, basically, where you'd usually play a C. So it's like playing a C chord and an A minor at the same time. <laughs> and that's an A minor chord. And then for an F chord, we're actually going to make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Rather than playing just an F chord, we're going to get rid of that middle finger. So just our index finger exists on the second fret of, no, sorry, first fret of the second string, sorry. And that is called an F add nine chord. So it's easier to play. And he has a fancier name as well. How does he get away with that? What? So again, C chord, but the seventh fret. Play that with your ring finger. Then we play a normal G chord. Then we're gonna play this A minor. So from here, like I said, if you, you can move your ring finger and then move your index like that. Makes it a nice easy change. And then we're gonna to go to F add nine. Okay, so, same deal. Right, what I'd advise, first of all, is practicing each of our patterns, but we're going to play the 16th note versions, okay? So that means, really, you get four patterns per chord. So if we took pattern one, that would mean you're going one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four. To your next chord. just makes the chords a little bit more exciting, right? So it's exactly the same chord progression, but just, just a bit nicer. That's all, they just sound very, 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 very nice, okay? Now, I actually sort of took these chords they are just our normal chords that we just talked about, but I sort of, whenever I teach it on ukulele, I use Lewis Capaldi's, um, oh, what is the song called? Someone You Loved, that's the one. Uh, because that is, even though it's in a slightly different key on the piano, it's the same formula and very much those voicings of the chords work extremely well with the song. So if you're a fan of the song, I reckon giving that a blast with some finger style sounds very much like the piano that we're talking about, which is very cool. Okay, pattern number two. So we're going to do exactly the same stuff. We're going to keep it to 16th notes. So that would mean you're going 1E e and 2E uh, e and 3E uh, e and 4E. Uh, e and, uh. oh, 
Yes, lovely. He's excellently lovely as well. Okay, so again, same deal. Just make sure that our left hand can get between these chords nice and easily. And obviously, I'm playing it quickly because I played it a million times. Okay, so if this is your first time, rules, standard rules apply. One E and a two E and a three E. You've got to take it really slow. There's no point trying to race into it, okay? Because it, it'll just get frustrating. Right. So now you can take number two and apply it to exactly the same thing. Hopefully that doesn't require too much more explanation. Then we have pattern number three. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. Still, my C chord, G, A minor, and F add nine. And pattern three, if you remember, it was one, four, three, two. Middle, thumb, thumb, index. So again, we're going to play 16th notes. So it means we get four patterns per chord. How should that sound, Sammy? Hopefully like this. Just very, very, very nice. Okay? It all sounds... I love fingerstyle too much. You probably tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's try that nice and slowly. Okay, so that would be one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three and a four E. There we go, okay? So we have slightly more exciting chords and we have three different finger picking patterns to play around with them with, okay? So that is, that's a lot of work, mate. I'm always keeping you busy. Got to be practicing. Okay, so I did say that also we have a fourth pattern to talk about, okay? And this, again, this was actually inspired by the Lewis Capaldi song of how um, it sounds on piano. I'm a piano teacher as well. This is why I keep talking about piano. Right, so the finger style that we're actually going to be talking about today is we're going to go back to eighth notes, okay? But instead of using one finger at a time, we're going to upgrade using two fingers at a time. Uh-oh. And basically it's, you have to pretend you're a tiny, tiny crab. That's it, okay? You're a tiny crab having a great life playing ukulele. And we're gonna do lots of pinching. So, how I recommend is basically, we only have two pinches, okay? So let's go up to this C chord on the seventh fret. Let's get him in position, get in normal position. So we're going to pinch strings three and one together, which should be our thumb and our middle finger. Now, that might take some practice just getting your pressure right. Because there's always, because basically that, that C string can be quite overpowering because it's so much thicker. So we just have to make sure that we basically don't overdo it with the C string. Just make sure we pinch. It doesn't sound too sharp, but it sounds nice and gentle. Okay, so that's our first kid. Our second kid is we're going to pinch the two remaining strings. So you're going to pinch four and two. Now this will be with your thumb and your index finger. Same rules apply. Just got to make sure we're nice and gentle with it. Make sure you're not snapping or pulling that string. Okay, so we either pinch one and three with thumb and middle, or we pinch two and four with thumb and index. Now, our goal is to alternate between these two. So basically, we will go one and two and three and four and. Now I explain that as more like an ambient sound and it's just 
way more gentle, okay? Fingerstyle is lovely and very soft, but still, if you play it quickly, it can be quite intense, or sometimes it can feel a little bit like just over the top, right? So you need to suit the mood of the song you're playing, right? So if you're going for something gentle and soft, just that pinching pattern, to me it sounds really cute. I love it, I think it's really nice. But again, this pattern works over any chord, as we're about to demonstrate. We're gonna run through the same normal chords that we just did, okay? Sammy's slightly doctored chords. Okay, so that should mean that we're going to go one and two and three and four and. So it technically means we have four pinches altogether on each. You're always going to pinch one and three on the numbers one, two, three, four. And you're always pinching four and two on and, 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 and. So we end up going one and two and three and four and right uh oh that's my bar over so that means we have our next chord which is the g chord right hand pattern stays exactly the same okay so we're going to go one and two and three and four and now the funny thing about g chord you might notice with your ears is that strings two and four are exactly the same note identical. If you play a low G, they won't be. That that string will be an octave lower, so they'll stick out. But on a high G, it might be hard to tell you're actually pinching because they are exactly the same note. <laughs> so sometimes I do that and I'm like, hold on, am I, actually, am I doing something wrong? No, they're just exactly the same note. So be aware of that, okay? Your ears might trick you into going, mate, you're only playing one string. You're not, you're doing a good job. Okay, right, so next we have this A minor, and we're gonna do exactly the same. So we're gonna pinch three and one, two and four, three, one, two, four. And again, that's eighth note, so we're going one and two and three and four and. And then finally, we're gonna take this to our F at nine chord. Exactly the same right hand pattern. You got this now. Right, so let me play that all the way through just with the connecting chords, okay? So we're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. There we go, okay. Again, absolutely fantastic, right? Still playing finger style, but the fact that we're just pinching these strings gives it a whole completely new feel to it, okay? Very exciting, love it. Right, usual rules apply. I would go through that chord progression once, take a breath, and then go do it again. Do it three times, and it's either you put the ukulele down, you have a cup of tea, or you basically, you upgrade, you play a little bit faster, okay? That's what I'd advise. Right, so really, on this chord progression, you have four different ways of playing it, okay? We either have pattern one, now with the sixteenths, we have pattern two, we have pattern three, Or we have our eighth note pinching. <laughs> right, again, all these patterns you can apply to whatever chords you like, okay? So go out there and go experiment with chords that you like or covers or anything like that, okay? You can mix anything from these four patterns. Just play around, okay? Spend some time to get to know your ukulele and these fingerstyle patterns and see what you come up with, okay? It's crazy exciting. Thank you again so much for listening. Have a wonderful time. No doubt you'll be seeing me very soon. Goodbye.